Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can email your LEO report file. We have seen that how we can generate LEO report with different frameworks. And we have also seen that how we can generate a single HTML file for LEO report so that we can share that HTML file with the team. If you have not seen that video, then the link is given in the description. You can watch those videos as well. Now, as we have seen how to generate the shareable LEO report file, now the next step is to send the report to the team. So whenever the test execution is done, then the LEO report is gonna be generated. And then it should be emailed across to the team with the help of Jenkins build pipeline. When the build is done, then a report should be generated and it should automatically be sent to the required recipient. So I'm going to create a new job. Let's say, LEO report email. And then I'm going to use the pipeline project and click on OK. After that, I'll move to the pipeline here and I'm going to create the pipeline script. Let me just select the hello world example to auto generate the pipeline script syntax. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the stage to reporting. And then I'm going to create my steps. In this build pipeline, I'm not going to show you that how you can execute your test because that I have already covered in my previous videos. If you want, you can watch those videos. In this video, I just wanted to cover how you can generate your LEO reports HTML file and then how you can attach it to the email. So let's assume that our execution is already done before this stage. In your case, you can add these stages before this where you'll be taking the Git clone, building your project and then running your test. And then the last stage will come where we'll do the reporting. So I'm just going to cover the last stage in this video that is reporting. Let me just quickly show you that here is my project folder where I have the LEO result JSON files are already available. These files were generated when I executed my test run. Now I want to generate the single HTML file using these LEO results. And then I want to attach it to the email. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy this location. And I'm going to run the command first at this location to generate the report. I'm going to run that command to the directory which I have copied. So I'll just copy the directory here. This is the directory where I want to run the command to generate the LEO report single HTML file. And then I'm going to run the batch command. For that, I need to provide the batch followed by the command to generate the LEO single file. This is the command to generate the LEO file. When this command will run, then it is going to generate the LEO report. And inside that LEO report folder, a file is going to be generated as index.html. When the file creation is done, then I want to attach that file into the email and then I want to send it to the recipient. For that, I'll type email extension and after that, I'll type attachment. In case you're not sure that what is the syntax need to be used here, then you can always go to this pipeline syntax. And then from this sample step drop down, you can choose the email extension extended email option. This is the plugin which I have already installed and because of that email extension plugin, I'm getting this step available here in this drop down. Now let's say I want to send this email to a recipient and the recipient is, and then let's say the subject will be the LEO execution report. And in the email body, I'll just type, please see the execution report attached. Now, 
Now, I'll move to the advanced section, and in that, I'll add the file which I wanted to upload, because I'm running my test at this location. And inside this location, when I'll run the command, then a folder will be created with the name LAO report. So I'll mention the report folder name here. And inside that index.html file will be created. If you want any other thing to be added as part of the email, then you can provide those details here and then it is going to automatically generate the script for you. Now, I'm going to click on Generate File Transcript. And you can see that it has created the pipeline script email extension, where the attachment pattern contains the attachment which I wanted to share. Then body contains the email message. This is the subject. And then this is the email recipient list. If you want to add multiple recipients, then you can provide the comma separated recipient list. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this. Here, this command is first going to generate the index.html file. And then this command is going to send the file in the attachment. If you want to add multiple recipients, then you can provide comma separated details over here. Now let me save this. And now after this, what I'll do, I'll open my Gmail account. This is my Gmail account. Let me add this here. As of now, I do not have any automation report here. And to get the report, I'll go to this and then I'll click on build now. A build has been triggered. So let's move inside this build. You can see that it is running the command LAO generate single file, which is running under this directory, which I have specified in my script. Now we can see that the report successfully generated in LAO report folder. And if I move to my files, then you can see that here we have LAO report folder generated. And inside this folder, I have my index.html file. Now let me go back to the console. Then you can see that now it is sending email to maximautomation at gmail.com. So the report, which is generated by the command, now this step is going to attach that file into the email. You can see that this step is also done. Let me now move to the Gmail. And you can see that we have now received one email with the subject as LAO execution report. And then you can see the attachment here, index.html file. And if I click on this, then this is going to download it. Now let me open this attachment. You can see that this is the LAO report file, which was generated through the test execution. And now this is available as part of my email attachment. So this is how you can share your LAO execution report. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.